Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. Uh, we've got some really cool news to share with you guys, and we would love your help on uh, something that's coming up that's really cool. And we'd, first, we'd like your opinion on it, and then uh, if you'd like to participate and any suggestions, and we really want that uh, project as well to be a group project, to be really, we claim it, all of us. It's not uh, like this channel, it's not my channel, it's really all of us, because this channel could not have done the things it's done and without all of you and uh, so many of you specifically who are so involved and you know I just love you guys and I'm just so thankful to find like-minded people who want to help who don't want to be sofa critics who want to get out there and be part of the solution so uh, you know bless you guys and thank you so much for your time and watching this channel and um, well, first I'll tell you some, the first piece of good news, and we don't like to brag about this stuff too much. It happens a lot, but um, we're so blessed to be a part of it. And that is another amazing uh, healing we were uh, blessed to be included in. Someone uh, requested us to um, do a viewing and uh, gave us zero information. And the person we, we care about is a fairly relatively new friend and follower. And uh, so we put three of our top people on it, myself, and a super sleuth and another person who's going to uh, remain anonymous and um amazingly we all came up with the same location and each of us had a little bit of different things but all in the same exact locations the same exact feelings it was pretty rare for us all to have that resoundingly um similar i mean exactly all of them uh, very similar and then some of us had a little bit extra detail but uh anyway uh basically um she allowed us to share it she actually suggested to share it um we generally don't share this stuff we like to keep it you know it's very personal stuff and if someone um trusts us we to come into that space of their own personal health um you know we don't want to obviously it's kind of bad you know so anyway uh, here's just some of the things she said um uh buddy thank you so much for bringing in the team i felt the healing you all have done it's so nice to have breaks in the pain thank you guys so much um Knew I couldn't hide from you all. Ha ha ha. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it and how unexpected the healing was. Um, we well, need to expect miracles, and they're going to happen more often if you expect them. Um, anyway, R E, and then she we gave the specific notes, and she was gracious enough to give us a detailed response on how we did. A strong hit in the lower stomach area, perhaps uh, uterus. Um, I was saying strongly fibroids. I, I had this thing where I don't like saying any, it's very, very rare. I would say a specific thing like that that's negative um, because sometimes you're not always 100% accurate and you don't want to say something that's negative and be wrong and you don't want to say something even, you know, uh, that could influence someone mentally or whatever. But it was such a strong thing. It kept saying, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to go with it, you know, the fibroids. And uh, Super was right on it too, the same exact thing. And she was also sensing some other stuff around the area, and but also that there's been a, a healing and a process with all of that. So anyway, uh, yes, right on, exactly. Um, I won't go into the personal details. Um, uh, uh, RE, is there a blank uh, thing? Uh, uh, correct, uh, correct. Um, uh, Okay, that one ended up being really correct too. I, I don't want to reveal too much. It's personal information. Although she let us, you know, hopefully you understand the desire. Um, so actually there's several other points and I'm not going to get into all of them. Um, accurate, accurate, accurate. Here's one of her responses. Um, wow, who got this one? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Um, okay. Um, and that was a thing I had a connection to because it was something that was very personal uh, for me too. And so it, it kind of resonated for me. Um, and uh, wow, the, it was just such an amazing, and this person, if this person wants, will write up in the comments below and validate or not, or if other people will validate or not, but it, it really doesn't matter. What really matters is that you guys look at these as further evidence of the power of your consciousness, the power of faith, the power of believing. The universe is an interactive, co-creative process. You're not a human being, you are a human creating. And the more you believe, the more you're willing to fail big, to succeed even bigger, 
the more you are going to have miracles around you, the more you are going to see them. And you can choose to live in a smaller, less exciting, subnormal world. You can relegate yourself to the subnormal world, but the substructure is there, gang. And it's, it's basically undeniable at this point. All the different science, I mean, all, it's, uh, it's up to you. It's your mind, it's your life, but also it affects others. So I just wanna beseech you to try never to be negative because that may have a more powerful effect on the universe than you ever know. And always have faith and trust in your ability to be a part of a miracle. Um, we don't claim in any of these healings that it was this person or that person within our group or even our group. What we do sometimes is sometimes we act as a magic feather, the group does. Of course we're praying, of course we're really deeply involved and very emotionally involved in these things and really resonate with these people. But also we act as a part of the group, you know what I mean? And we can give more people confidence to have more confidence in their prayers and their own body and their own healing. And we need to do that more for each other. And it just feels good. It feels better on our side, you know? Uh, it just feels amazing. So if, if anyone is out there in need, um, we never want or will accept donations uh, or you know, pay for that kind of thing. We would, you know, uh, accept donations, but not really anything around a healing. You know, we wouldn't want any, uh, it's just about karma to us and doing the right thing. And uh, so that was the one piece of great news. And we've had a few of those recently. And I just want to beseech you guys to know that you can be a part of that too. Just make those circles amongst yourselves. And um, we can give you tips and help and advice and strategies. And, you know, we've developed, you've seen our kind of protocols and our uh, exercises and our kind of methodology on how to improve, and a lot of our people are getting better. It's really cool to see. It's really awesome. So, and here is the next piece of news, and this is a really cool piece of news, and I need a little bit of Gatorade for a moment to wet the whistle, because this is a really cool piece of news, and this is what we need your help with. Gang, we are going to practice what we preach, and we believe the most important thing is unleashing human potential in the next generation. And from the beginning, this channel has been about, um, this whole project has been about educating and researching, and we continue to do that. Um, we've had some original, slightly different plans, but we've really evolved to the higher, better ground. And we're gonna launch a kids consciousness channel. Yes, uh, it's going to be called Super Conscious. And this channel is going to dive into the really cool stuff of consciousness for young people. Young people don't know so much of this stuff and they would be so excited to hear that they have these real abilities. They don't have to be subnormal. They can be their real normal and unlock their potential. And we'll teach them exercises on how to trust their intuition and that intuition and these things that the, these cities, as they're called in the yoga sutras, these kind of superpowers are real but they come from empathy first, resonating with empathetic connections and understanding. But also, not just empathy, they come from virtue. And that means doing the right thing and doing good. And these lessons, I think kids will take those trade-offs in order to have a little bit of superpowers. So we'll walk them through some of the cool exercises and games and let them work on their own. Uh, but it's not just about um, intuition. It's also more about unlocking their other potential and being free to be big. And so that channel is going to be a no judgment zone. And we would love different segments and cool ideas and anything you guys have. Because as you know, I worked in, uh, I don't know if you know this part, I worked in kids television for like seven years on the production side. And it's, it's, really, it's really important and the, it impacts their entire lives. You guys remember little bits and pieces of cartoons from when you were a kid and we can make a difference. And, um, I would love to hear your guys' suggestions and thoughts. If anyone does character work or funny music or, or art or anything and wants to contribute, we will not accept any money uh, for that. If we did get donations for that, we would somehow put it 100% back into um, the kids. Uh, we would like to see some really cool devices in, in a few different schools. There's these really cool, inexpensive kind of, um, kind of like the Russell Targ game devices that a friend invented that are absolutely unbelievable. They're electrifying. and uh, but whatever, uh, we want to teach kids. So we would love to know what you guys think about this idea first. 
any suggestions for executing super conscious and um, if anyone would like to join us thank you guys so much as always for your support of this channel and if you guys need anything any help or if you could help us contribute if you have any techniques or ideas or uh, let's share let's grow and uplift each other and work together and try and set a decent example for our community much love guys